do. Hey guys, Filthy Robot here, back with the Roomba, continuing our playthrough, our anti-deity, crush the computer uh, playthrough. Hey, how's it going? Doing well, man. How about yourself? Oh, it's been two days. I, I feel, like, so much better. I'm no longer sick. That's excellent. That's really good to hear. Uh, I think toward yeah. the uh, the end of the last episode, I had asked you a question. I, I apparently have gained a military slot, and I don't remember why. Was there, hmm. there was a policy slot. And uh, you had an answer for me then, but I don't remember it now. Is it a building You've that I did? Full policy slot. So, like, if you look oh. at your government... <clears throat> I remember now. It was uh, one of the policies that I had must have gotten... Uh, Upgraded and uh, or, or like removed and that's why it's empty, right? Yes, that's correct. So I, I didn't so, gain one It's just em it's empty and now I've got a prompt okay. to change. All right, you had me a little concerned I'm like, I don't remember how the hell you got a free, free policy. I'm like, what are you doing? I want that. But no, no So uh, do we do you want a brief? I've been or it's gonna be it's gonna be sequential for the, the fans, right? A brief what you cut up for a second. Uh, I said, uh, do you want a brief recap of the game, or are we just sure. diving right back in? I mean, I guess we're... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to just do my units and stuff, but uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. Summarize. So uh, we're uh, two of us playing against four AI. I, we're, the, the goal of this, at least for me, is to experience the deity AI. This is my first attempt on deity, and I think you have you played a little bit, but not a full campaign, right? No, yeah. I just I just played like 50 turns of Scythia one night, and uh, in my campaign, I didn't play against Sparta, so she was a lot stronger from my perspective, and now I'm kind mm -hmm. of... You know, having to backtrack and play better now. So hopefully, I don't gotcha. suck as much this week. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Ho well, hopefully, Roomba well, doesn't no, no, suck. No, no. I, <laughs> you know, that's 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 you being worried, not me, not me saying anything like that. Yeah, you know, uh, I I am uh, a little disappointed so far with the way they've been behaving. They don't seem very strong to me. The AI. Uh, we are crushing them. I'm crushing them with basically. I mean, it's Samaria, and you're crushing them as Scythia. So we do have very co strong combat sieves, but uh. I just haven't seen them be very good right now. They're giving me cities, giving up cities at almost no cost. And it just seems a little bit strange to me. So, uh, how's your, you're, you've just started a war on Philip, right? Yeah, I'm attacking Spain. And, uh, he's got, he's got three catapults, uh, directly adjacent to each other. And, uh, a warrior and a, and a hop, a uh, hoplite is nearby from Greece, but... I don't understand this, this whole, like, catapults on the front line all directly adjacent to each other. Granted, they have 35 strength because, you know, he's, he's a DD AI, but, like, nothing but catapults? Where, where's the rest of his stuff? Yeah, that seems a little, a little, a little sketchy. Sus. I guess we keep on slamming uh, horsemen into catapults, right? I mean, why not? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Could, 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 could three catapults shoot and kill? How much damage do you think three catapults could do? On offense, how uh, much strength look, they combat have? Combat strength, well, yeah, it depends. So, my combat, oh, man. So, they're basically crossbow strength, then? You said his are 35 combat strength? Well, that's on the defense. Because they've got support. I don't think they get a flanking bonus as catapults, do they? I don't know. I, I don't doubt know how it. that works. I, I I guess maybe they would. Maybe all military units do. I am cautious. I mean, the, the AI doesn't seem to be behaving particularly rationally either for me over here. Like, I've been leaving units out, and they have not been grouping up their knights and slamming into my units and killing those units, so I don't know. Uh, my suspicion is if three three crossbow strength catapults sh shoot one of your horses, the horse is, the horse is dead. So you may either wish to kill one or two of those catapults or uh, hope that the AI is not clever enough to uh, focus fire like that. So. Well, it's the only one that's within range, so this, this horseman may die next turn. We'll find All out right. soon. Right. Um, uh, almost ready to be done, sorry. Just got a couple yep. combat moves to take out here. Same here. I'm, uh, I'm trying to train up my own catapults. Remember the last session we did, uh, we both deleted our batting ra battering rams because they're garbage, and uh, we don't like them anymore. Yep, this is correct. My cities are finally uh, starting to grow a little bit here. How's your population look? Is there an easy way to see total pop? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is it in the view reports page? Could could very well be. Uh, looking at that, it gives me food per term. It doesn't look like it actually. It gives me quite a few demos here, but I don't actually see. Oh, oh I, uh, I think I think oh, I, I remember seeing status. it. City status and reports. You can see population. Uh, it, you have to add it still, but it is all the pops listed for you. I'm at 31 pop right now. Okay, I could have sworn I had seen total population on one of the ranking pages. Maybe I'm mistaken. Perhaps it is. I just I haven't seen it. So. My nation, religion. No. Got tourism per turn, military strength. Yeah. Okay. No. Looks like you're uh, you're right. That's gonna be the best way to do it. City status. So I've got. Uh, Oh, let's see. 
We got 10, 20, 31, 33. And you had how many? I've uh, forgotten already now. Let me go add it again. Just take like two seconds. So this is 7, 7 is 14, is 23, is 31. Haha, I'm winning. There you go. Wait, <laughs> isn't this cooperative? Uh, yes. Yes, yes it is. Gotcha. Okay, here goes my, let's move my catapult. Can you okay. check something for me? When, when you're in range of the deity AI's uh, fortifications, either uh, their um, encampments or their cities, will you tell me if they are shooting you every single turn? I'm not convinced I'm being shot every single turn by the deity. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Um, so, do you think Civ 6 is the same as Civ 5, where the AI cannot move and shoot at the same time? I know, I know no. catapults have to set up before they can attack, but he moved his damaged catapult back, and he did not kill my horse, even though I think he could have killed my horse. Also, now he has I do a, not think that is, because I've seen a barbarian crossbow move towards me and shoot me on the same turn. Okay. He also now has a uh, a battering ram to support his catapults. That's, that's powerful. Yeah, super, super Next nice. level strats. The one thing I really wish that I did still have is the, uh, the ability for my cav to um, hit and run. You know, cycling them to the front line and then being able to attack and then retreat at the same time is something that's sorely missed right now. Yeah, I kind of missed that a little bit too. It was one of the nice things about horse units in, uh, in Civ 5, where they were different, very different than <laughs> melee units. Ooh, I just got that promotion policy finally. I've been waiting on this quite a long time now. Your promotion policy? Off. What does yeah, that do? Yeah, 50% off upgrades. Oh wow. promoting a unit, and I have so many units that I need to promote. So... I don't know if I'm a huge fan these days of the uh, the road building mechanics, like having to use traders. Like I don't really want to send a trade route to one of my cities, but I'm going to do it anyway just to build a road toward it, the advance toward the front line. And it just feels kind of suboptimal that I have to make this this. Uh, it's an in. It, it's, I, I am it's, it's decidedly not, not a fan of that mechanic. By the it, way. It's like it's it's not the right choice. Like I should be sending the food to a specific city, and yet I have to do something completely different just to, to get a road. Yep, and, uh, I'm not a fan either. I like that traders build roads, right? That's cool. That should, that, that's awesome. But I would just like if builders could do it too. And I know you can do it with military engineers, I know. But that comes so late. Way, way later than I would like to see it. Man, I'm running into the problem here that I don't know that it's wise for me to actually upgrade these units. I have money banked, and I want to upgrade these units, but uh, my upkeep per turn is going up as I as I upgrade. Because I have the war carts, which have no upkeep, and now I'm upgrading into knights, which I believe are three upkeep. This may actually be a mistake to upgrade. I don't like that mechanic either. It feels bad. Uh -oh. Okay, uh-oh. We're, we're, we're already complaining too much. We're going to get in trouble. We better, uh -oh. we, we better cool it. Sorry, I, I I bought a, I I earned myself an extra complaint by running the webcam today. I wasn't I wasn't doing that in the previous episodes, and I, I may not for the next episode. But for whatever reason, I had it on for today. So maybe I can trade off by just smiling a lot and complaining. What do you think? Yeah, strategy worth attempting. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so I, I just need to again because it's so different from Civ Five. I got to remember the food. the The stuff goes to the originating city in Civ Six, correct? Yes, which actually I think makes a little bit more sense. Quite honestly. I think that's why traders would actually be sent out, right? The goal yeah. is to earn. Yep, you made the yeah. same argument last time. It's just, I... I don't know, for whatever reason, I have a hard time looking at this, uh... Pez, Pezirik 2, and then it's it's got the plus one food, the plus one thing, but it doesn't actually, like, have a directional indicator on this one. You have to go to the available trade routes to see a directional indicator, which makes it more clear to me. Do you have a... Oh, oh that's pretty dumb. Okay, so uh, just uh, something to, to share. Um, my I have a... Warcart standing directly on top of one of India's traders, and I had last turn fortified that Warcart. And this turn, it was showing me having the pillage option available, pillage road, but not pillaging the trade route, not plundering the trade route. I actually had to wake the unit up to get that option, which is unexpected. Just FYI, if you're like, why can't I pillage this freaking trade route? I'm standing right on top of it. There's your answer. I don't know why trade routes don't get auto pillaged in this game. Oh, there's so many barbarians down here. This warrior is never going to survive. <laughs> Rip warrior. There's two slingers and a warrior and a scout, all just like kind of hanging out south of Kumasi. Okay, um, catapults coming out next turn. Archers on the march. All right, we'll see. Well, catapults have been really good for me. I just walked right through like India's capital, which is super strong, but 
What the hell, dude? Oh. Greece is like apostling the shit out of my own city. You, he's got so many apostles in my city. She, she, right? Yeah. yeah. What a wench. What a wench. Oh, I love this one. The the plus two builds on builders. Yes, that is a very solid very, policy. Very powerful. I'm gonna build any more builders or not? I guess maybe I will. All right. Well, we can say uh, goodbye to Gandhi's capital. I'm gonna come back to do this soon. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six apostles marching onto my my location. I think he's going big ham on this uh, this religious victory. I just yes. Uh, who is this? I was, that's what I was worried about. Uh, the end of last Sparta. episode was with yeah. Spain. Because Spain just has there are seven missionaries who are uh, six missionaries who are approaching me right now, um, which is kind of weird. I could just ward them and kill them all, which seems like the best way to do that. But perhaps I perhaps I won't. Um, I just got something kind of strange. I just got a an inspiration for. Oh, divine right. Never mind. I, I misread. I thought it was the one that had six cities following my religion, but it wasn't. It's was the one for having two temples. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So you think that uh, okay, apostles are non-combat units. So if you are at war with them, then they just die instantly. Correct. Yes, you just walk over them. They don't even count as your attack. You can kill an apostle and then keep going with your turn. I think you should just declare war on her. I'm gonna do it. Whatever. Okay. If she kicks my butt, I I will blame you for not <laughs> dealing with her. Come for over. Not being there to save you sooner. Yeah, take care of this woman. She's she's causing problems for me. She's converting my stuff, and I'm not a fan. Seems, that seems reasonable. Is there a way to see how many spreads a uh, enemy missionary or apostle has left? Uh, maybe when you're at war. Uh, I don't think you get any information because you can't select them when you're not at war, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, hold on. I just got something, though. What was it? No, oh, it must have been a pop of one of my units for that. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's any way to tell that, unfortunately. Okay, I guess we move on and I just crush this next city. Yeah, so, okay, so Gandhi's gone, you're saying, huh? Well, he, two of his four cities are down, including his capital. Uh, but he's not gone yet, quite yet. I actually can't move in my combat units because uh, there's this flood of Spanish missionaries blocking all the tiles. It's kind of irritating. Guess. And I didn't pillage anything in this land, and I still, still some of his buildings were pillaged. Or damage, so it's kind of interesting. Not no districts, but uh, buildings at least. Still really missing that fortify till heal button. I use that one quite a bit in Civ Five. There is a fortify till heal, isn't there? There is, but there's no shortcut key for it. Ah, right, because you're using your modded, uh, your modded shortcuts. Um, did I tell you the good news? There's a version one of the No Quitters mod for Civ Six out, as well as version one of the No Quit of uh, Hellblazer's map script for uh, No Quitters. No, you did not for, tell uh, me that. That is is interesting. I'm really looking forward to that. It's already they're already starting to address some of the multiplayer issues. I think that is going to be extremely good for the replayability of the game, uh, especially the multiplayer stuff, of course, but also the single player because you can use the map in the single player. I think Greece is going to march on me pretty darn heavily in a second here. Few inventions have been so and remind me, the goal of this game was you were going to kill 2AI and I was going to kill 2AI, right? I oh, know you're going to kill all... Whoa, where are all of his apostles are gone now? Her, excuse me, all of her apostles. Yeah, the goal was that you were going to kill everyone and I was going to be here for commentary, I think. Oh, I see. I've been misunderstanding, but that does explain the uh, the sequence of events so far. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so again, you have to have walls to be allowed to shoot. Is that correct? Yes. So if you can, you you can't purchase walls outright, can you? The gold? Uh, no. I actually found you couldn't, which was an interesting change. The only buildings you can't purchase districts. I think you can purchase district buildings. I don't think you can purchase walls. Hmm. Well, having some more walls available would be quite handy. I'm still going to march really heavily on uh, Philip rather than worrying about her. And uh, I probably don't need this many have down here though. This is six gold per turn. Yeah, I guess I'll bring a couple back. This is a bit excessive. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cav down here on her front on her his borders, excuse me. Mm. This is a bit excessive. Probably is.
I forget what the cam command is for range attack. I'm not seeing a keyboard shortcut. It's just I just... rebound mine. It starts off as R, I think. But I rebound mine to E. What was your justification for that? It's basically the most used hotkey I'm ever going to have. And E is probably the easiest to do. I don't know, like, I mean, I do I do actually use arrow keys to move around. But if I rebound those to WASD, that'd probably be more reasonable to keep my, my hand on the left side of the uh, uh, keyboard while I'm playing this. Yeah, this AI seems totally incapable of defending itself, despite being ahead of me in tech and ahead of me in military units. The, uh, the issue with all these cav, without being able to do hit and run tactics, is that uh, I really can't use very many on the front yes. line. You know, it really mitigates the amount you can get up there. Well, cores are actually an interesting thing to deal with that, to get around the one unit per uh, hex problem. But I just don't know what tech they're at. They were quite late. All right, we looked at it at one point, but I don't remember what it was. Cores, you said? Yeah. Believe, believe it or not, I've actually not played enough of this game to even have experienced that. That's where you combine units into one unit? Yes, I. Uh, you can. Uh, it's a technology. Combine two units. Well, I think it's actually. I think it's a. It might be a tech, but I think it's actually a civ um a civics. All right, tech. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna search the civilpedia real quick. It's called a core, like C O R. Yeah. C O R P. Oh, core. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. There's nothing. <clears throat> nothing showing up in the uh, civilpedia under that that term. God, I looked it up the other day, or rather, one of my viewers might have looked it up. It might be. Because the problem is it's hidden in one of these... There it is. It actually is nationalism. That's where it's at. So that's it's a, quite a few errors ahead. Civic or a technology? It's an industrial era civic. But okay. if you read the text of that, allows forming two identical units into a core or fleet. Allows one... Uh, allows colonial wars. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, that is quite a far way to go. But that is... I mean, it's unfortunate because I actually feel like... Like right now, I have way, I have the exact same problem. I have way too many individual units, and not enough ability to get them frontline coverage. I agree. Can yeah. can you um? Do you remember at the Civ Six event in New York? I could have sworn back at that beta, that trial that we did back then. I thought I remember putting archers on top of melee units. No, not for me. Was that I not a thing? It. I could have sworn they were considered like support, and they could like actually stack. You could have a, a builder, uh, an archer, and a melee unit all in one tile. And maybe so, that wasn't a thing. No, no, definitely wasn't. You could get a support unit, a builder, uh, and a military unit all in the same tile, but I couldn't get an archer on there as well. Archer's the military unit part. So I have a, in Gandhi's capital, um, I'm building stuff. Where is this Gandhi? Turn, I don't even know if I've actually found Gandhi. Gandhi's India. You walk by him to find me, probably. The, the purple. Okay, yeah, I see his area, but I don't actually see any of his cities. Uh, okay. Amazing. Well, well uh, Calcutta. I see Calcutta. At the moment, I can build a number of different things in there, but it's minus one turns to build them is what it says. I can build the Great Library in minus one turns. I can build the Market in minus one turns, or the Aqueduct in minus one turns. Negative one turns sounds pretty good. You get it yesterday. I'm gonna, last, I'm gonna last build episode. the Great Library and get it last episode. Let's see how that works. All right, sounds good. Okay. Uh, sorry for taking a little bit. I was just looking at that and kind of confused why I'm getting minus one turns and what that actually meant. Okay. Makes sense. Philip the second has completed the wonder of Oh, actually killed something. Yeah, I'm getting too aggressive again. How come I just spawned four barbarians this turn from negative amenities in a city. Because ah. the city I took over is minus seven amenities, and it spawned three knights and a crossbow. Wow. Literally more than I think uh, any of the AI have fought me with so far. That's kind of exciting. I'm not worried about that, but uh, I'm surprised by it. Uh, the negative one is now uh, a very long time. I actually think this means the city has no production right now. I didn't know you could get to no production. I get minus 100% citizen growth and minus 60% non-food yield from amenities. And the status is revolt. Hmm. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I didn't actually lose a unit because of me being a stupid head. It was uh, the barbarian, the guy that was surrounded by all those barbarians. So I feel much better about myself now. Okay. How come I can't? I'm not. I'm not actually being able right now to. Ah, uh, never mind. Swap unit locations is what I was trying to do. Damn! I can't build ziggurats on a 
t on a farm improvements. So that's unfortunate. Hey, that guy's maybe overexposed. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not so sure he'll live. Alright, so I guess we gotta kill some barbs this turn, huh? Still haven't gotten uh, a boost to apprenticeship. Don't have the workshop yet. You have any of those online yet? No, I've been uh, focusing on entertainment complexes to uh, try to deal with the negative amenities that I'm getting from doing this war. I see. So you do, you got mercenaries just a minute ago. The discount on all unit upgrades. That's pretty appealing. Yeah, I was really looking forward to that until I realized how much upkeep that's going to cost me to upgrade these units. <clears throat> now I'm not very thrilled about it at all. I need the one that gives me gold for killing like older era units. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can slow down this barbarian invasion. I never did change over to the uh, the better builder one. I like I I was gonna change it and then I was gonna go look at other stuff and then I was gonna come back and do it and I totally forgot. So I do that a lot. Yeah. Forgetting. Economic Economic policy. I think it's probably safer to just take the damn builder thing and train a couple builders and then remember next time. I'm sacking one per one one mil one uh, hammer from every city and I've got six cities. So there goes six production in my empire. But uh, yeah, well we played a little bit slower than uh, than last time, but uh, we do have to take a break here already. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys soon. All right. See you in a bit.